True story, I've never eaten here because I thought the only thing that they had were bowls of noodles and that just did not sound that good, but I saw that they have actually some pretty good looking food, so we're gonna check it out. So, I gotta do this quick, I got a Skype call in six minutes now, but I gotta eat first. So I got the Pene Rosa, it looks pretty decent. I don't know if this was worth $9, but we'll give it a try. Very good. Not Chipotle good, but it's good. You'll win somehow. So give up on the bottom, baby. It's hard, I know. new shirt PES just sent out. This thing is nice. I swear they are way, way too good to me. Excited about that. But let's not drag this out. We're going to make this fast because I need to edit videos and watch some Nurse Jackie. I am very addicted right now. Excuse my voice. I have been a little bit under the weather these last few days and I have not been doing much of anything. So I'm a little bit behind. I'm going to try to get caught up here. But you know that first day that you come back and you finally feel like yourself again? You're just like the happiest person alive. I felt like DJ Khaled in the office today. I was just walking by people like, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. It's just such a great feeling. The things that I take for granted, that so many people take for granted. But anyway, don't worry, it's not like this is uh, mono or anything, but speaking of mono, my gym as if it wasn't amazing enough, got a mono lift and I'm extremely excited about it. Not because it's doing me really any good. I mean, it's not like I'm utilizing it to its full potential, but it's just something cool to use. I don't know, I've never used one before. And the training that I'm doing has changed just a little bit. So I'm not doing any more AMRAP sets. Instead, I'm doing something which I'll refer to, I think Garrett refers to it as an RPE drop. This is nothing that I have ever heard of personally, but I think it's pretty unique and I think it's going to work pretty well for me if I can stay true to myself. And what I really mean by that is staying true to the RPEs that Garrett has listed for me. You guys know how it is. Sometimes you get a little bit too overconfident or a little too ambitious and you push it a little too hard, but there's a reason everything is programmed in the way it is. So I'm gonna to try to explain this very concisely. Let's use today's workout as an example. So I started the workout with 375 pounds on squats and it's just one set of two reps initially. Then you will either either stick with that same weight or just drop it slightly and then I'll do two more two more reps and I'll do as many sets as I need to to hit an RPE of 8 in this workout. And I will repeat that cycle. So if it takes me one set, I hit the RPE 8, I'm done. That's two sets for the day. Or if like today, I it took me five different sets to hit that RPE of 8 and that's when I stopped. So it's gonna take a little bit of self-discipline and also just making sure you know what an RPE 8 feels like or whatever RPE is prescribed for that day. So it's gonna be challenging, but so far I'm liking it. And once that finished up, I moved on to the competition bench and followed that exact same pattern. First set, 250 pounds, two reps, RPE 8. So then I moved on to the second set, got two reps, knew that I easily hit that RPE 8, so I stopped just two sets of competition bench. And that's what's cool about this is it's gonna regulate it day by day. Now. Just naturally, I'm stronger at squats than I am at bench, so I'll probably have a little bit more work capacity there. But after I finished up with the competition bench, granted, I didn't get a lot of volume there. I moved on to the Spoto press, so I still got some more pressing in, and we did that exact same thing. I think I ended up hitting probably five total sets before I hit the RPE of eight. So that's kind of the pattern that you're gonna see throughout this, these next four or five weeks in this training cycle. I know that it's a little different, so if you have questions, just leave them in the comments below, but I'm looking forward to it. I was getting, you know, not tired of the program, but it is so monotonous, it's just getting a little bit bored, but you're gonna see some new uh, exercise selections and different types of things in here, so hopefully you guys will enjoy. Hey, what's up guys? So my friend Jonathan asked, how do you manage a full-time career and YouTube at the same time? And I get this question a lot. So the first thing is, I don't get tired. The second is, it's kind of just my personality. I have to be doing something all the time. I like to be productive. 
So since I started working, there has not been one day where I just come home by myself, lay around and watch TV. It's either go out, see friends, hang out, make connections, network, do whatever, or I come home, edit videos, record videos, all that fun stuff. The other thing is that I want to make YouTube videos. I really enjoy it. And I hear a lot of people say, well, I would like to make videos, but I just don't have time. And the first thing I'll say is, I think not having time is a terrible excuse. I tr I've tried to get that out of my life because I used to be like that. I'd be like, oh, I don't have time to do this, this, and this. And any excuse that every person on this planet can use, everyone says that. Everyone's like, I don't have time. It can't be good, right? Because if everyone, is, if it's available to everyone, it has no value. The other thing is that I'm not saying I'm the hardest working person out there. I'm definitely not. But I would be willing to bet within YouTube fitness at least. The amount of hours that I work is more than 99.99% of people. That's not bragging, that's just the way that it is. Most people do not have to work the amount of hours that I do, and I love what I do. So if I'm able to do this, I'm not buying that a lot of people just don't have time. I'm still putting up three to four videos a week. So it really just comes down to me wanting to do it. I have the desire to do it, and I make it happen. It's simple as that. It doesn't, I, I never really think about, well, how am I going to do this this week? It's just, I want to do it. So I'm gonna do it. It's really that simple. Get up, get down. It's time for us to hit the town. Do you wanna see where you wanna go? See you at the club. Gonna hit the floor. All dressed up and ready to go. So surprisingly, I get a lot of questions on how I tie a tie, and I know that this will not apply to a lot of you. But when you're first starting out, it's very, very frustrating. So I finally found one way that I really like because it's very easy. This, it's the simplest way that I found and it also looks very nice. It's always straight. So here's how I do it. So I guess some people consider this a double wins or not. Honestly, I do not know. I am no tie connoisseur. But all you have to do is the first step, cross, okay? And then you bring this up and through like so. So then you have like something like this, okay? The next thing you're gonna wanna bring it under and then bring it through. Okay, so then once you're done doing that, you should have the back end of the tie facing up, and then all you have to do is line it up, make sure it's tight, bring it across, and then once you have something that looks like this, you bring it under, and you tuck it through. Now I'll be honest, I do not like how these hipster skinny ties have a small knot at the top. I much prefer a traditional tie, but that's just what I'm working with today. But what I really like about this way to tie is that it always gives you a straight knot because a crooked knot drives me absolutely crazy. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out. All dressed up and ready to go. guys are going to love my new invention. Well, truth be told, I have not invented it yet, but what it's going to be is a donut sandwich. And this is a very, very complex system where I'm going to make a sandwich out of a donut or two, possibly three. I like three. don't see this working out too well. I'm gonna have to cut it. Such a mess. But wow. I don't need to say it, guys. I mean, you saw it. You almost have to like the video after that, right? Well, you don't have to, but I would really appreciate it if you did. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. That really does mean a lot to me, and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.